Hi, welcome to another CRG scoreboard tutorial from Down Under Derby TV on NSO TV. We're uh, looking today primarily at penalty tracking. This is a uh, great new set of functions that have been added to CRG uh, in the 3.2 releases. Uh, they've been developed by the CRG primary developer, Michael, who's uh, done a fantastic job on them, and I'd like to see them being used more. Uh, I've incorporated them into the new overlay, which you can find a demo of uh, also on Down Under Derby TV's NSO.TV. Uh, and I'll comment that in the comments below so you can find it easily. Uh, so first we need to make sure we've got some teams loaded in. There's also a tutorial for that as well, which I'll link to. Uh, so you can see here I've got plenty of teams loaded in, the 5x5 five five teams in fact. And we're going to press the Start New Game button. Now this uh, initializes all the data structures, and I know I sound like a broken record if you watched a few of these, but it's important. This initializes all the data structures used for all of the new functionality, uh, including the new, new game log, which a lot of this is based around, uh, which allows much more accurate logging of a game out of the scoreboard and will enable some of the great new features we're working on uh, in the future. So our game has been initialized. Uh, that includes our penalty boards. Now, just for this demo, we ignore these two blanks ones up the top here. I promise in the stable release due out at the end of the month they'll be gone. I'll make sure of that myself. Um, they're actually the, the bench managers from the roster uh, and if you have seen the roster demo you'll have seen where the, uh, they appear on the overlay. We have our overlay here and we can bring up our empty penalty board for that team uh, now that we've initialized the game. Now these overlays don't work properly at all if you don't start the game and neither do a lot of the other functions that we're working on. So now to it, let's just start a jam. So we've got the game underway and we'll find um, now any NSO that's done some uh, penalty tracking will recognize this sheet and let's just give Apple a penalty here. You can find um, some controls here if you need to set the jam and period. They're automatically set from the clock so you don't need to worry about them. It's just a case of clicking on the penalty, puts it on the scoreboard. We'll jump back across here, stop the jam and just start another one. So we move the jam counter along and add a penalty up here for cold ethyl and let's make this one an elbow so you can see the jam number there is reflected on the penalty sheet for which jam uh, it, it appeared in it's slightly different layout to what NSOs are used to uh, you normally have a separate period sheet um, for this one both periods appear in the one sheet with a, a one dash jam number or a two dash jam number uh, it's quite simple to get used to for any NSO that's that's used a penalty sheet uh, so these all reflect in the penalty boards that are used on the overlay in real time and live. Uh, they'll be reflected in some game stats and other things that we're collecting in the future as well. You can even, um, for instance, uh, one of the ways we're running this at the 5x5 coverage is we'll have an operator who is not in the middle, they'll be on the outside situated with the lineup trackers, so they'll be able to see a penalty come in, select uh, select that if they didn't quite catch what code was called out or what sign the, the referee called. The, showed when they called it and then uh, next time out they can run into the middle and actually update that penalty very easily to what it actually was on the penalty board. Let's just progress the jam along a little bit more so we can put a few more in. Um, let's give the penalty here to Down Under Thunder and um, yeah that was probably a multiplayer, no it wasn't, probably a multiplayer in this case uh, but there you go you've got another penalty there it appears on the board Again, I can go into here and go, oh, actually that happened last jam, take that jam off and it'll update straight away. It's still a multiplayer. And there we go, it's edited, uh, or if the type is edited to now forearms because we've got the right information, it's updated immediately. So I'll just add a few more penalties here. Uh, this works really, really well on a touch screen. You can just tap on any of the uh, the boxes in this line. If they happen to um, go out early, for instance, you can click on this box and say they have been expelled. You may want to record what kind of uh, penalty it was in there. It was a, a low block that caused an expulsion there, and they're gone. That will also update here be the expulsion. Um, in the stable release that will also highlight as red, um, I promise as well, which uh, is the next feature I want to show you as well as the skater gets uh, more penalties and let's uh, let's pick on uh, Micro Machine of SRDL, sorry. Uh, I'm going to uh, give a few penalties here. You'll find once we get up to the fifth penalty that they've acquired, they will get highlighted conveniently for the NSO and also for the viewer at home you can find, let's just slide over to the other team, 
enjoy the animation effects and here we go you'll find they get highlighted here and that color actually gets darker as we progress in the penalties slightly darker orange there and rocking up to their seventh where they will be fouled out uh, and that appears in the commentators and, and stream overlay as well so that's uh, most of what's in there for the penalty tracking functionality of the new release of CIG. Um, this is actually available in the current stable 3.2.3 release, uh, 3.2.2 release, uh, and will also be um, fine-tuned slightly to remove these boxes and a few other things in the release due at the end of May, uh, which includes uh, the rest of this overlay that you've seen a little bit of in this demo, but there is a whole other demo on in this overlay too. Uh, so click the playlist, uh, check out the rest of the NSO.TV videos, check out our awesome footage of 5x5 and our upcoming events on Down Under WTV. See you on the track. I'm FTP. Thank you.